We will start these questions off with Paul Hudrig. Hey, Doc. Uh, just whether it was from you or whether it was from someone else on the coaching staff or the players, what was the message to Ben um, that he kind of came out in the third quarter and really took the game over? Yeah, we just thought he passed up too many opportunities in, in, in the fast break at the post. Uh, and so we told him we're going to come out and feature him on the post and be aggressive. But the pass first, I always think when you start him out passing on the post, then he gets aggressive in the game. And he was great for us. I, you know, it's exactly what we need with his pace and power. Uh, it was great. Thanks, Doc. Dave McMenamin. Doc, how much has uh, Ben taking more of a role on Trey allowed you guys to go up in this series? Oh, it's been big. Um, him and Matisse and George tonight. We're the three, three guys. You know, it's exhausting when you think about what we're asking Ben to do. Um, follow Trey Young around, follow him around screens, and push the ball up the floor, you know, uh, with pace. You know, that's all we talked about at halftime. Uh, when one of my coaches reminded me that he was guarding Trey when I was yelling on by pace. He said he is guarding Trey, too. So it's tough, you know, but uh, he's young. He has endurance. So it's been good for us. Keith Pompey. Now, what do you think about Joel's performance? I mean, it seemed like he battled through. No, he, he was great. You know, he's patient. Uh, they were going to send two and three guys at him all night. I thought overall he, he kept his patience. Um, we got to do a little better job on our spacing, uh, honestly, so he can see guys easier. Uh, but it'd be good that now we can see the tape and see exactly what they were doing. So. Uh, but overall, I, I just thought uh, our movement, uh, 10 turnovers for the game, I thought told the story. Doc, it, it also looked like he battled through pain a lot, too, especially in that third quarter. I mean, was yeah. a couple of times he fell down, he hit the knee. Yeah, he's, 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 he's playing hard, Keith. He's giving us everything. And, you know, as you know, I never ask how a guy is feeling because they may tell you, you know. Um, so, yeah, what he's doing has been incredible. Um he is going through a lot, I'll tell you that, and, and it's been great to watch. Last question, uh, Danny Green, how long do you guys expect him to be out? I, I have no idea. Um, you know, it's a calf injury. Um, just my doctor's degree, I would tell you that calf injuries aren't great. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next, we'll go to Kai Carlin. Hey, Coach. Just real quick, I wanted to ask you about Tobias as a passer. It just really kind of seems like he's continued to kind of add that to his game. So what have you kind of seen in his, you know, evolution really as a passer? Yeah, just patience. You know, Kai, they are really loading on him. Uh, we showed him on film, the flow pass, the bounce pass are the two areas uh, where we're going to need him to be great. Um, and I thought he did it. I thought, you know, was, I got on him one time. I think he had Trey uh, one time in the post and he was looking to pass and, and you yeah. know, that was a little much. Uh, but other than that, I thought uh, he just he's making the right decisions at the right time. Uh, and he is, he is in a lot of ways is really one of our, our he's, he leads us so well with some of the things that he says and does. And then real quick, what were your thoughts on the bench? Because, I mean, as a disaster as they were in the first half of game two, which just kind of seems like ever since then, they've really given you guys a huge boost. Yeah, they've been great. Uh, every guy. I mean, we, we put Tyrese in for one second and he makes a play. So every single guy that we're calling right now is responding for us. And that's been good. Thanks, Coach. Final question. We'll go to Jack McCaffrey. Jesus, turning it over. Sorry, guys. I'm watching the Denver game while I'm talking to you. I have to unmute yourself, Jack. You have to unmute yourself, Jack. Jack, Jack, I can't hear you. Hey, Jack, I can't. There you go, Jack. Bang. I said, I said, Doc, you're 32 and six with your preferred starting lineup. It goes without saying, there's you have to take Danny Green out of that. It, it, it's going to put a little pressure on you. Are you pretty confident that you'll be able to withstand? Uh, some changes in that starting lineup. Yeah, yeah, we will. I mean, we've done it all year, Jack. And uh, just the next guy has to step up. Not sure who that's going to be yet. Um, you know, we'll we'll go back, watch film, and decide who that will be. Uh, I mean, I, I I'm not ruling Danny out, but I'm pretty much ruling him out. I, I doubt if he plays the next game. Thanks, Doc. Thank you, Coach. Take care, guys. <laughs> oh, 